What's up everyone, this is Slifer King here, and today you join me for another one of our Half-Life 2 videos, where after uh, getting past the dam last week and the helicopter, we have now arrived at Black Mesa East. By the way, just for the record... Oh. One of the caches, by the way, counts as Black Mesa East itself, just to say... So I think this one might be a little bit more of a quicker episode than previous ones because this episode is just going to focus on Black Mater East. You've got something. Okay, it's it's human. Hello? Take it easy in there. You're hmm. safe now. But you'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly while well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Hmm. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> we could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they fail to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right up. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? <laughs> now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. He's the administrator of this whole vile business now. He ended the Seven Hours War by managing Earth's surrender. The Combine rewarded him with power. You remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? That picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. The Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon <laughs> can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... I saw that. I saw that, Eli. 
Take a look at this, Gordon. Yeah, I still never figured out what this is actually supposed to be, this thing. Alex, I thought you were on watch. The Vortigaunts relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. <sighs> Ugh. Let's get out of here. Hmm. <laughs> So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Come on. I do find the traffic light system funny. I have to say. So, here we are. The scrapyard. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the Zero Point Energy Field Manipulator, if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you've picked something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. Although this is an achievement if you find this. You can also pull stuff over from a distance. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. All right. All right. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog! Come! <laughs> Good doggy! Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, dog, let's play catch with Gordon. That's one big dog. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Go ahead, dog. Throw! Here, fetch. Good catch! Throw another, dog.
Hey, I took out both with one. Now there is another achievement if you uh, if you get it right. If you get it if you get it in the basketball hoop, that is enough. That is an achievement, just to say. Not the easiest one though. It does take a few attempts. But you get the idea. Thank. Oh, almost had it. Almost had it in the basketball. Oh dear. What is it, Dog? Oh my god, what was that? Scanners! Oh, combine sweeping the area! You gotta head back to the combine! Oh dear. Oh, I gained a, actually gained a power cell from that. Not good. Airlock stuck in a full auto cycle. Is Gordon still with you? He's right here. Good. I want you to. Dad? Take Gordon out of here. Head for the coast. Do not go through rape. Dad? Dad! Damn it! Dog, open the airlock. Get us out of here. Hurry, now! Tear it apart. You have to just get it open. That's enough, dog. <laughs> Trying, but dog is in my way. Oh dear. Gordon, you need to get out of here. I can't leave my father. Dog, take Gordon to the Raven Home Tunnel, then circle around and try to meet up with me. Hurry! Oh dear. Thank you, dog. Thank you. And off he goes. So, uh, that didn't exactly go brilliantly. Why you? Yeah, I don't think they work. Maybe I shouldn't have used the Magnum for that. So, uh, we are about to enter Ravenholm. So, that is where I will conclude this episode for today. So, there has been another episode on my Half-Life 2 series. I hope you've enjoyed. And for now, this is Slifer King, signing out.